Guess what I'm gonna do when I get home from work today? What you gonna do? Take a bath. Woo! Today we're gonna show you how to make a chai latte tea bath. For this recipe, you need a quarter cup of Epsom salts, mm -hmm. and that helps boost your circulation, and it helps um, your skin get rid of ucky stuff, so it's like kind of a detoxifier. Okay. You're also gonna use a quarter cup of slurred oats, or ground oats, and that's really good for your skin. If you are prone to eczema, are you prone to eczema? No, but my little sister is. This will help with dry skin like that. Okay, all right. You will need a tablespoon of anise star. Mm -hmm. You can use a whole spice or the ground spice. We're gonna use a whole spice because it's pretty. Mm -hmm. You need a teaspoon of clove and one cinnamon stick all broken up and cinnamon essential oil. That comes in the recipe box. And almond oil. And that comes in your bonus box. To start, we're gonna mix all the dry ingredients and then we're gonna do the oils later. So start by mixing all of these dry things together. All right, go ahead and give it a stir. Make sure like the salt is mixed in with the oats so it's kind of even. Good? Yep, that looks good. Okay. All right, now we're going to mix the almond oil and cinnamon oil. We're gonna mix those together to dilute the cinnamon oil because cinnamon oil is a very strong oil. Mm -hmm. it smells like cinnamon, but it can be irritating on your skin. Okay. So this is gonna prevent it from being irritating. So add a teaspoon of that, and then two drops of cinnamon. We're only using two drops because it is skin irritating. And also it's a very fragrant oil, so along with these spices, it smells really good. Okay. So make, give that a mix. It's mixed up. All right, and then you can pour it in there. And then stir everything all up again. Make sure the oil coats everything. Once it's all mixed evenly, we have these really cute tea bags we're gonna put it in because it's a chai tea bag. Uh-huh. And we're gonna use we're gonna put it in the bag and then it's gonna seep up in the bath, and that way we don't get these spices all in our drain too. Oh, that's so, super handy. Yeah, double bonus. Alright, once that's filled, we're just gonna tighten it and tie it around the tea bag. You'll also want to label your bath salt so you remember what it is and so mm -hmm. that you can give it to the right person if you're giving it as a gift. Mm -hmm. Subscribers get a sheet of stickers with all the recipes in it, like this one, a chai tea bath salt. And you just cut it out, peel off the back, and voila, you have chai tea bath salt. And look how cute. Aw, it's exciting. Yeah. <laughs> Super exciting. <laughs> so to use it, you'll just put it in your bath as it's filling up just the like bag? you would tea. Yep, the okay. whole bag. All right. And leave it all in there. That way it's easy to clean up mm -hmm. and enjoy your chai tea bath. Awesome. So for more recipes like this, go to simplyearth.com and check out our blog post or check out our recipe box. Thanks for watching. See you later.